Welcome to Special Data Hub. In the last video, I showed you how you can create a web map using the QGIS to web plugin. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload your web map to your GitHub account for free and make it publicly accessible. So here I've, I have my account logged in into github.com. To upload your web map, you can create a new repository by clicking on new or the plus icon next to your profile photo click on new repository so we enter our repository name typically the name that easily identifies the project which we're working on so let's call it population density So we can enter a description, whatever describes your map, and then set your set your repository to public, add a readme file, ignore all of this and create repository. So here all we have in our repository is just the readme which we can we will come back to edit when we are done so let's add our files in your file creates upload files so navigate to your directory you can browse from the air or you simply drag and drop into your directory so here i'll open up my folder where I saved all my GitHub files okay this has already been tampered with because I have created a file from it before now Let's just copy everything. So when you upload your files, depending on your network strength and the size of the files, I'll see you at the end of the upload. So when your files have successfully been uploaded, scroll to the bottom and click on commit changes. If you find this video helpful, do well to like and subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications so you get notified on the best GIS content you could get. So here is our file. Now we could we'll make some changes to our settings. You can always change the repository name. Then confirm that your file is public in the danger zone you see this repository is currently is currently public now go to your GitHub pages under the branch you can change the source to the main branch and click on save fine then refresh this page so go back to your settings so the page refreshes and then click on pages again now you see that your site is live let's just open that on a new tab so our map has been published so of course you could copy your link and all of that now let's go back to our repository we can edit our readme file by clicking on the pencil buttons pencil icon here on my blog i have a 
an article that will help you understand how to write your first geospatial readme. I'll attach the link to the description of this video and you can do well to check it out.